<clears throat> Hello. Uh, what I thought I'd do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to make a radio that our, our pit boy can pick up on. And, uh, I know people have given me uh, a lot of different requests, but like uh, with, like I was uh, last week, I'm a little bit pressed for time, so I'm just going to do a dead short tutorial. And I'm going to do, uh, in my last tutorial, I made this tutorial radio. So all I'm going to do is demonstrate how to change it so that this radio that we made last time can be picked up by our pit boy instead of just uh, being pi picked up by uh, by radios. So I'm going to travel now to my cell in the Commonwealth where I placed it initially. So I'll just wait for that to load. So here it is and here's the location of our radio transmitter that we made in the last tutorial. And as we'll see here it's got a low um, frequency radio station. Basically, what we want to do is change it to a high one, and again, we want to make sure that it's not um, it's not a high frequency which is being used by another radio in the game or pit them both up. But I found when I tested it that 91 worked fine. That didn't pick up any uh, that didn't pick up any additional thingies. And since I've done that, I'm also going to take the radio receiver that we made last time and adjust that so its frequency is 91. So I'm just going to edit base and just put 91 the frequency there, just so that it um, it is picked up by the uh, unique radio we made earlier. And now the thing is, we ha our radio at the moment doesn't have a name. Like if you look at the radio transmitter and look at the base for the transmitter, it's called Emergency Frequency RJ1138. And we don't want that. What we want is our own unique name. So I'm just going to save and we're going to go down and create a message now to give it a name in game. And message should be around somewhere message there you go so I'm just gonna create a new message just give it a unique ID tutorial radio and uh, name and I'm just gonna get the title here as a uh, tutorial radio and then okay so now we're gonna want to go back up to our quest which is housing the radio and double click on it and we're going to want to go to our aliases and this alias here, this radio alias, which is the alias pointing to the transmitter, we're going to double click and enter into the alias. And this display name here, we're going to search for a message we made before, which was, um, it was a load of tutorial stuff. Tutorial radio name. And OK. OK. And save. And that is all you want, that's all we want to do to get our radio working. And again, like I said in my last one, I've only made a very basic radio, but you could create multiple scenes and link them all, link them all together via, via these um, these change scene actions or via links within the individual radio results, things like that. You could do a really, really complex one. I mean, maybe I'll do an, a tutorial on specifically doing a complex radio, but for the moment, I'm just leaving it at very, uh, a very simple radio just to demonstrate how to actually get it into the game. So I'm just going to duck into the game now and demonstrate it working. So here I am with our radio on. I'm just going to turn it off. So there we go, there's our uh, tutorial radio and it's still playing on the other little radio. And, um, oh god. So yeah, that's how it works. It's still here and if I click on it, it's all over. We'll start playing, but I, I don't want to start playing any music. I mean, like I said in the last one, I don't think it would get be a problem but I'm not going to do it anyway so apologies for the short tutorial um, I'm not going to be doing any over the weekend again but hopefully I'll try and do some uh, some more decent ones next week it just depends how I'm I'm off the time anyway hope that was useful uh, at all uh, thank you for watching and goodbye